Hello there. My name is Ronnie. You are watching English lessons. Maybe you're watching English lessons on ingvid.com or maybe you're watching it on YouTube. If you go to ingvid.com, you can have a quiz following this lesson. So it's always a good thing to do. Test your knowledge. Um, today, this lesson is for da -da 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 -da. I can't say the name. Kasim, right here. Kasim Ahmadli. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. I need some pronunciation lessons, but not in English. I'll teach you the English. You teach me how to say your name. Anyways, this lesson is for you and everyone else out there listening and watching. Um, a very, very easy, basic, very important lesson in English grammar. Oh, no, grammar. Don't be scared. It's okay. I'll help you. Um, Klausim wanted to know the differences between adjectives and adverbs, okay? I remember when I was learning this in school, I was confused as well. And the way that I remembered this, one of my teachers taught me a very easy way to figure this out. Here's how it goes. This word contains the word verbs. So, you can always remember that an adverb describes a verb. Cool. So, it's a verb. Okay. Verb. A verb is an action word most of the time. Now, there are verbs that are not really action words called stative verbs, but do not worry about those right now. What we're going to look at are just simple, basic action words or action verbs. Does anyone know in this sentence where my verb is? Anyone? Anyone? The answer is ran. She is my subject. Ran is my verb. Uh oh, what's this? Fast, fast, fast. Fast is an adverb. It tells you how the person did the action or it describes the verb. So you can ask yourself, hmm, how did she run? <gasps> oh. She ran fast. Cool. Let's look at this sentence. Can you tell me where the adverb is in this sentence? He eats slowly. Oh, sl sl slowly. Yes. Slowly in this sentence is the adverb. So this tells me how the subject does the action. How does he eat? How does he do the action? He eats very slowly. Okay? So if you can remember this, adverb describes a verb or the adverb describes how the action is done, you're going to be a lot better off in English grammar. So once you've got this down, you can think of maybe the opposite if you want, which is an adjective. An adjective, there's no verb. An adjective describes a noun. So then you're thinking, oh no, how do I remember what a noun is? I remembered it like this. A noun is three things, a person, a place, or a thing. This is how I remembered it from when I was a child. I always say a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So, an adjective describes a noun. An adverb describes a verb. Get it? Easier now? So let's look at the sentence. We have a big black dog. Hmm. Can anyone tell me in the sentence, where is my noun? Is big a noun? No. Is black a noun? No. -uh. Dog is a noun. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. in this sentence, my dog is my noun. These words big and black describe my noun. What does the noun look like? The other thing you have to keep in mind in English is when you're describing something, we always go shape, 
and then color. Most languages, I know Japanese, Korean, and Spanish, you guys would say black big dog, but in English, just to make it more difficult, we change it and we say big black dog. Just like this one. Oops, we need a comma here. In this one, we have a little, a little yellow meow. cat. Can you tell me where the noun is in this sentence? Meow. Anyone? Meow. Meow. Cat. Good job. So, cat is my noun. Tell me what the cat looks like. Okay. The cat is little and it's yellow. Yellow cat. How interesting. So, again, in English, we always go size and then the color and then the actual noun. Okay? The other thing that's very important is where in the sentence you actually put the adverb and the adjective. The adjectives always come before the noun. So maybe you can remember first is the adjective, then it's the noun. After that, there's the adverb. The adverb comes doo -doo -doo -doo, before, sorry, after the verb. So if you can remember what it looks like and how the verb happened, you're on your way to learning the differences in the terrible world of fascinatingly wonderful, terrible, confusing English grammar. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.